In this video we're going to see how to add a layer style with Photoshop Elements. For example, if we have these three shapes on separate layers, we could apply different styles to all of them and come up with something like this. And it also works well for text. Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Let's go over to Photoshop Elements and get started. I'll be using Photoshop Elements 13 for this video, but the process is pretty much the same in other versions. Layer styles are special effects applied to layers. Most of them are best when applied to images that don't fill the entire layer. For example, many layer styles would work well with our three shapes, where the shapes are surrounded by transparent areas. Layer styles also work well on text. You can apply layer styles from the Effects panel. To see the Effects panel, let's click on Effects down in the lower right of the window. The icon for the Effects panel are the letters FX. When I click on it, the Effects panel appears along the right side of the window and it replaces the Layers panel. At the top of the Effects panel are three categories. We want to make sure that Styles is the active category so, if it's not already active, let's just click on it. Next, there's a drop-down menu that you can click on to see the different types of layer styles that are available. There's 15 different types and several choices within each of those types, which ends up giving you dozens of different layer styles to choose from. If you want to see them all listed at once, in the drop-down menu, click on Show All at the bottom of the menu. I'm going to start with the first type of styles, which is bevels. The somewhat descriptive names are below the icon for each bevel, but some of the names are too long to be able to see the entire name, but you can hover your cursor over each icon to see the entire name. As usual, there's a couple different ways to apply a style to your layer. One way, and the way I like best, is to double click on the style that you want to apply to the active layer. The only problem is that the effects panel has replaced the layers panel, so now we can't see which layer is active. Here's how you can see both panels at the same time. There's a square icon down in the lower right corner of the window, the one that's labeled More. To the right of the square is a tiny arrow. Click right on the arrow. Try not to click on the square, but just on the arrow. A pop-up list appears. Click on the bottom option from the list, which is called Custom Workspace. Now, instead of just the Effects panel, there are four panel tabs on the right side of the Photoshop Elements window. They're located up at the top. We see Layers, Effects, Graphics, and Favorites. You can click and drag on those tabs to separate them out as floating panels. So I'll drag out the Graphics panel. Now I can close that panel by clicking on the X at the top of it. I'm going to drag and then close the Favorites panel also. Now we just have the two that we're going to be using, which is the Layers panel and the Effects panel. You could just leave those two tabs and switch between them by clicking on them like this. But I want to see both of them at the same time, so I'm going to click and drag on the Layers panel tab and drag it over a little to the left. And I'll drag down on the lower right corner of the panel so that we can see all of the layers. As I said earlier, one way that you can apply a style to the active layer is by double clicking on that style. Let's apply this first of the bevel styles, which is called Inner Ridge, to our red triangle. First we want to make sure that the red triangle is the active layer in the layers panel, which it is because we can tell because it's surrounded by blue. But if it wasn't the active layer, we could just click on it to make it active. Now I'll double click on the inner ridge icon in the effects panel. And the inner ridge style is applied to the triangle. I'm going to undo that. Let's try the next bevel style, which is called scalloped edge. I'll double click on it to apply it to the red triangle. 
If you don't like an effect, you can undo it, but you can also edit the effect. We'll see how in the next lesson.